Alright, what's up everybody? I am reviewing this Jump Surge JS2000 Jump Surge and it is a car battery jumper. So comes with this in a nice case. I do like the case. I've seen others before mainly from Tack Life and the case is just too small to fit everything in there but the ones from Tack Life does come with more. Um, this comes with the USB-A to USB-C um, cord. Let's take a look at this thing real quick. It has uh, two USB ports. This is where you plug your jumper cables into. On this side it has a flashlight. It says Top Dawn on the side. And this is how you turn it on. Let's look at the battery. I charged this two months ago and uh, it's still 100%. Over here you have more input, USB-C, this is to charge your devices, your cell phones and all of that. Turn it on, the flashlight, you hold this down, there you go, and the flashlight is good enough. Nothing, it's no O-Light or nothing, but or Energizer, but it's, you know, decent enough. Alright, so I've been gone, you guys notice I've been out of town and my cars have been sitting. So I didn't check that one, but I know this one is dead as the doorknob. So let's check this ever start. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and see if we can jump this bad boy. So I'm gonna turn the flashlight off. All right, strobe. And that's just from clicking it once to cycle it, and that's all. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect the, the cable. Cable is connected like so, and I plugged it in. Now we're gonna go ahead and connect it. And most of these, if you connect them wrong, it'll just give you some weird alerts on this thing right here. It'll tell you that they are reversed or correct, so you don't have to worry about it. It's pretty much foolproof, so let's go ahead and connect them. And as soon as you connect them, um, it starts flashing and shows you that it's correct. Now, when you connect them, I only have one hand, so I couldn't do it on camera. Connect the positive first and the negative. This is really not necessary for this thing, but just get in the habit of doing that. Always positive first, negative second. When you take it off, um, always remove it negative first, then positive second. So we're going to click this boost, and when we do that, we need to go start it within a certain time frame, usually like 30 seconds. Click boost, boom. Let's run. And we have lights, so that's good. Wasn't doing that before, so weird climbing into this. Wrong key. I lost the key. Come on. Yay! It needed a little bit to get the gas up there, but we good. Matter of fact, that's saying something. That thing cranked for a long time. And uh yeah, that thing was able to handle it. I like oh snap, what the heck just happened? Okay, hold on. We got to do it again, which is sometimes normal. All right, so that was weird. It was dead for a minute, and then I came back, plugged them up, and I pushed the boost button, and the headlights, everything came back on. Let's go ahead and start it up again. Because I left the key in the on, on position like a fool. All right, so, okay. What's that about? Maybe I'm having a problem with the battery because those ever starts are doo doo. So I'm going to go ahead and just keep trying this. But you guys see what it's capable of. Let me get off of this because what I'm going to do next is I'm going to click this boost. And you see it already dropped the bar. And I'm going to disconnect it quickly. Alright, so take that for what you want to take it for. It's running now that I took it off of the battery immediately. Now, I will say this. My Tack Life units, after they jump it, they like disable themselves. You will have to take it off and put it back on for it to still be interacting with the vehicle. So, I don't know how I feel about that. I'll, all you engineers and electrical engineers, I'll let you chime in on what that could be about and why it's still sending 
signals, I guess, to it and causing it to shut down like that, but it's been running now. So now I'm about to jump that and let that run for a bit because they haven't ran for a while. And uh, thank you. Thank you very much.